What's up, guys? Feeling good? Ryan? Seen your wife the other day at the store. She's out spending some of that bonus check. Always. That's right. What stores are you shopping at, Jen? I don't know. Did you get a new dog or something? She was going yeah, to the pet store. Where were you at? Corona. Oh, yeah, PetSmart. PetSmart, all right. Okay, who wants to start off the questions? I mean, I just think it's... Uh, I just think it's fun, you know. It's it's different this year. It's, uh, you know, I had a really good off season. Um, you know, it's just proven to myself, not really anyone else. It doesn't really matter to me what anyone else thinks, you know. Because either way, next year, the year after, you know, I'm always going to be the underdog, you know, just because of my previous years. And uh, you know, it's just it's just nice to prove to myself that I still have, you know, somewhat of fight left in me, you know, being as old as I am. Um, <laughs> but uh, you only look old. I have that feel, Ralph. <laughs> I, I, I look old, that's right, losing my hair already. Um, but no, it, it's, it's definitely nice to, to be in the same position that I'm in, you know, previous year. Um, but I'm still the underdog coming in this race too. So, I don't know, I just, it's just nice to, to be up here and, and to be in the front as much as I have this year. And, you know, I've never, never done that before, so it's uh, definitely nice to prove to myself. Does that work better for you, not feeling the pressure? I mean, some people do go, you know, do well under pressure, and some people don't. And you know, back in the day, in amateur days, and you know, pressure never really bothered me much. But uh, I don't know. It just seemed that more pressure I had, you know, in the years, it's, it's, uh, you know, I haven't worked that well with it. So you know, coming this year with a new team, you know, there was no pressure. There was nothing. There was no expectations. So uh, when I did do good, um, you know, everyone was ecstatic. But if I did bad, you know, everyone was still just pumped that my season so far. So it was uh, really no pressure at all. This is actually mainly for Davey and Ron, Dungey, there's two Ryans, um, but uh, not to blow a bunch of smoke up of, of the other Ryans, but, but the, when you guys spend so much time, much more of that. <laughs> when you guys spent so much time chasing, chasing Villapoto around and there was a few rounds in a row where both of you guys were giving him fits and, and a couple times where you guys actually caught him and passed him, beat him and this sort of stuff like, uh, um, how do you sort of stay motivated um, when when many times he he still ends up beating you by a couple seconds or whatever it is. You can answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess just just you know Ryan he's had he's had a or Villa Pote, he's had a pretty uh, good year you know a lot of wins and everything like that but uh, you know it, it, it's easy to get discouraged you know for sure you know when you're second and you, you find yourself chasing I mean I think I think the one thing Ryan did was put himself in a good position right off the bat uh, a lot of races you know getting good starts and, and uh, protecting himself on the start and and uh, he's a good rider you know obviously he put down 20 solid laps um, you know he's a strong guy so each week and a week out, you know, I mean, when you're not winning, it's it's like you just got to put that one behind and, and move forward. You know, you can't keep sitting and, and basking in like uh, a defeat or something like that. But, um, you know, it, it's definitely tough. You know, I think we put in a lot of hard work and we want to win. And, and um, you know, we're not we don't settle uh, until we get there. So, um, you know, I, I think it's get the weeks do get hard. You know, it's tough. I, I'd lie to say if it doesn't bother me. But, um, you know, you know, that's that's all part of racing. You try to get better each year. And, Get yourself back on top. Probably with the air shock, you know, just with the air shock kind of going out on us and having to go to the LCQ and then and then uh, barely making it into the main and then to win the the night show uh, from the outside gate. That that was probably the for me the most memor memorable moment. I ended up not actually winning, but when me and Ryan uh, were battling there in, in Minneapolis, uh, I couldn't, you know, like looking back on it, I, I yeah, I was. Uh, upset and it didn't go obviously I ended up on the other side of the table but man it was just unbelievable to to race that close and and hear the crowd I mean they were following us around the stadium um, and it was obviously it was I had never raced in something like that so it that was really cool um, you know hopefully we can we can have more stadiums like that and more people get you know into the race into the racing as much as they were there it was it was pretty incredible for me it was last weekend I mean, even even over the opener in Anaheim, for me, yeah, it's just because I don't know about those two, but I mean, I was at my limit for the whole time, you know, and I've never I've never been able to do that in, in my career, and let alone be up there with, you know, two past champions. So uh, for me to be up there, running in the middle of them um, for 20 laps as hard as I could and, and staying there was uh, was cool for me. It was that that was probably the the best feeling I've had all year. It was great for all of us on speed, I can tell you that. That was a great race to call. We made um, some pretty big strides with the bike um, when we were able to 
I think get win number two, um, and we started a, f a five five win, uh, five race win streak. Um, and you know, for for me, that was that was definitely the turning point. But it came from myself. Um, it came from the team, the bike. We made good decisions and we acted quickly to, um, you know, get us up front. And you know, we were able to do that. And I think that was the turning point for the season. Uh, you know, I think now looking at it, probably this one just. Um, because of the fear of losing it, and then you know starting off so so badly, um, yeah, it's it's never over till it's over. But man, when you're sitting there and and uh, you're looking back and you've had not only one bad race but quite a few of them in the beginning of the season, um, it's not necessarily you know like any one of us uh, uh, any any one of us up here sitting here. We we normally are pretty consistent and run within the top five almost every race. But I had a few races that were you know way outside that so you know it was, it was just tough to you know to to sit there and, and look at it like that it'd be nice I mean it, I think it'd be good for everyone it'd be good for the fans be you know be good for us um, obviously we all want to win um, and we all have wins so uh, you know going out with the thing would uh would be nice um, so for me I mean I, I don't I just like to get a good start and, and do 20 laps like I did last weekend and, and uh, shoot for the best. As a rider, here's what you want. You want to get the whole shot and you want to be nice and boring for 20 laps. Very, very uneventful. But <laughs> Yeah, I will not be racing outdoors this year. Um, I've kind of gotten to the point to where I've destroyed my knee so much that it's there's not much I can do but just to go have it done. Um, and what I have to have done includes a lot. So. Uh, Right now is a good time for me to do it to where I can get back and be ready for next year. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> it'd be nice to win this race and go out, you know, winning, uh, especially since I'm not gonna race outdoors, you know, which is a bummer just, you know, having such a good season so far. And it'd be nice to go race against these guys outdoors, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I can't, I can't, I can't be around the bush anymore. I've been doing it for seven years and I, you know, middle of the season this year, I hit it pretty good, and and uh, it just it keeps getting worse and worse. And it, you know, before it would get just better, you know, little by little. But now it's just going the other way. So it's time to get it done. So I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to win here for sure, just because of that. Man, I feel like the biggest wimp now. A little ACL tear, a little meniscus tear. This guy's out racing Supercross with your knee blown out. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I'm milking it for everything <laughs> it's worth right now. Hobbling around, faking it half the time. Well, I mean, for me, it's more than just that though it's you know they they have to go in and do a, quite a bit more than that you know i don't know if anyone's watched me walk i mean my knee's pretty cricket when i walk so they have to go in and straighten that out but i mean it's either do that or have a knee replacement in the next couple of years and, and not be able to race for a year because of it actually this week i uh i had a, a guy a friend tell me that uh you know that over time you know like davy was saying you know that pressure it didn't seem to bother you you know but i think pressure like as you get going through years, it, it starts wearing on you, you know, mentally it starts burning that candle. But, but, uh, he told me, he's like, I said, you know, you have that, 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 you know, when you're on the line, you know, if you're a racer, that adrenaline, that, that feeling, you know, like it's that nervous, but ex excited, you know, you want to win that race, you're getting ready to go. But, uh, you know, he's trying to describe that. He says, but, but I think we need that in our life, you know, like if we didn't feel that, you know, if you stepped away from it for six months, it would, uh, you know, it, it it wouldn't be the same. And I remember when I got hurt uh, last year, I, I sat out for five weeks. It was enough for me to just go crazy and just want to be back on my dirt bike. You know, and I always remember that. So, um, yeah, part of it. This sport is, I think, one of the hardest sports, or if not the hardest sport, to 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 be in. Uh, we basically run year round. We switch series, but but yeah, it's. It's a constant. We're constantly racing from Supercross to Motocross to to one-off races and things like that, and it's a never-ending, revolving circle that we that we live in. So it, it makes it tough to to show up every weekend and and have everybody counting on you. Everybody's putting in a lot of work from the team to family to to you know your whole group. Um, and when it when it doesn't go your way, it's probably one of the hardest things but when it does it's it's one of the greatest so um you know i think that's what that's what keeps us coming making us come back for me it's all i know really i mean i've been hurt quite a bit 
you know, in my career. Um, you know, every single year, I don't, I don't think there's been a year so far that I've made it through outdoors except for 06, you know, since then. So uh, for me, it's it's just what I've been doing my whole life. It's what I love doing. And, and uh, you know, I, I think when, when the day I retire, I think, you know, and, and I finally mentally say, okay, this is enough, then then I'll be all right with it. But until then, it's, it's uh, you know, it's in my blood. It's what I love and, and what keeps pushing me to, to get stronger and better and healthier. And, and uh, I don't know, it's just, I, I think it's what we wake up to do every single day, you know, and I don't know, getting hurt, getting hurt is part of the sport. It's, it, it, you're lying to yourself. You say, I'm never going to get hurt because you are. So, uh, you know, all the adversities that we all have to go through, even the guys that aren't up here. Uh, you know, we're always pushing to, to get to the next level and, and, you know, to feel those nerves on the line. And, you know, because those are the best feelings, having the nerves on the line to, uh, to get you going, to, to get you motivated to get out on the line and, and uh, get a good start and, and have a good race. I, th I think it's exciting. You know, I think it's, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of people, there are a lot of mainstream media um, and, and so forth, and it's an area we haven't really raced a lot at. So. Um, I think it's a, a whole new part of the country, you know, we can draw more attention to and, and uh, grow. I, I think it'll be fun. It's uh, another outdoor stadium, I think, so uh, weather could play a factor, but it's racing. We uh, we have to deal with it. We all have to deal with the same thing. But yeah, I think it'll, it'll be cool. It'll, uh, you know, go to an area that we, that we really haven't been, um, I don't know, about ever up that far. I mean, hard. We're, we're here to win. Um, but obviously not take any unnecessary chances. Um, it is already wrapped up um, and, and we have another series coming up. So, um, but for sure, goal is to win. Uh, we'll, we'll see um, where things are when, when the gate drops and what position we're in, but um, we're here to race and we're here, we're here to do well. Big round of applause for our 450 rally. All right, guys, that's it.